Hi there, my name is Alan Lamont. I'm going to bring a video out and explain a lot of things to people about the Jesuits and also why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, we have a high Jesuit pope who was a Jesuit provincial, Pope Francis, that governed the entire region of Argentina and South America, elected on the 13th of March this year, 2013, at the age of 76. Now, why expose the Jesuits? Why attack them? You know, why, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> why attack the black pope? Why come against Rome? Why do this? Well, the reason is because they are still the counter-reformation. They still are destroying governments. They need to be exposed. They must be exposed. I hate the Jesuits. I don't care what people say. I hate them. I thank God for the day of judgment that's going to come, for the day of vengeance that God will bring on the order. God will overthrow Babylon and the city of Antichrist even so come Lord Jesus and bring that judgment now because that's what I want I want God to overthrow the Jesuits let me explain why they are behind all of the wars in history let me bring a quotation from Adolf Hitler now just bear in mind that uh, you know I know people today that are still alive that lived through the war so it wasn't that long ago really we're not talking about 400 years ago in the 1600s Okay, but obviously since the time of the, sorry, <coughs> the Vatican Council, the Vatican's done a very, very good job in covering up its crimes, of course, and blaming those crimes on others, which is always what the Vatican does, it's, it's modus operandi, always to blame its crimes on other scapegoats. Now, Adolf Hitler talked about the Jesuits, you can read this in the uh, Jack Chick publications but also there's a book called The Secret History of the Jesuits and uh, before I go into this uh, quotation and explain a lot of things I want to say let me say first of all if you want to get free PDF books okay on the history of the Jesuits these are you know these were suppressed documents and suppressed books it's difficult to buy these books today okay if you want to get these books on the secret history of the Jesuits of Rome okay then go to my blog you'll find it on my youtube channel go to the page on my youtube channel and at the top you'll see about click on about it's about me obviously click on that it'll take you to a page and you'll see my blog it's called vatican new world order click on vatican new world order the front page that will come up the first that you'll see is a page with many 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 free pdf books easy to download just click on a title instantly download to your PC and enjoy enjoy and uh, yeah find out the truth about the Vatican and the Jesuits of Rome so go and get them books now Adolf Hitler made a quotation about the Jesuits of Rome and this is the quotation now bear in mind this is not that long ago really okay We're not talking 600 years ago, 400 years ago, 300 years ago, 200 years ago. We're talking just, you know, 50 to 60 years ago. Okay. Quote, I learned much from the order of the Jesuits. Until now, there has never been anything more grandiose on the earth than the hierarchical organization of the Catholic Church. I transferred much of this organization into my own party. There's an admission from Adolf Hitler, okay, that his Nazi party, his Third Reich, okay, was organised by the Jesuits of Rome, okay, and that he transferred much of that Jesuit organisation, the Society of Jesus, into his own Nazi party. Also, Walter Skellenberg, he was the former chief of Nazi counter-espionage, he made the statement, quote, the SS organization had been constituted by Himmler according to the principles of the Jesuit order. The regulations and the spiritual exercises prescribed by Ignatius of Loyola were the model Himmler tried to copy exactly. Himmler's title as Supreme Chief of the SS was to be the equivalent of the Jesuit's general and the whole Nazi structure was a close imitation of the Catholic Church's hierarchical order. 
So if you want to know really what the the real Vatican is, okay, the Jesuits of Rome, this Society of Jesus, look at the Nazis, <laughs> look at the SS, okay. It's the truth, really. I mean, Adolfo Nicholas, he is the superior Jesuit general today. He has a chain of command. He has a command structure. It's a military army. That's what it is. And then you have, obviously, what's given out for... I'm sorry, but it's put out for the sheeple. It's put out for the ignorant masses, okay? Millions of Catholics, you know? They put out the Pope of Rome, okay? They put him out front... They'll put out his cardinals and his bishops and, you know, okay, they'll control the politicians and they'll, you know, bring their, you know, Babylonian mystery Catholicism to people. But behind that, you have the real Vatican. Do you understand? You have the real power, the black pope. Okay? And it's it's also black and white. You have the black and you have the wicked, satanic, evil Jesuit order. Hidden, of course, buried in the Vatican, okay? Hidden, covertly, secretly, controlling the papacy. And then you have the overt, the white, the good, you know, the Christian, okay? The Church of Good Works and Heresy. The Church of Mary Worship and Purgatory. Ugh. It's the most monstrous conspiracy ever this world has ever known. For behind the Vatican, you have the most murderous religious organisation in history. That's a powerful statement to make, but you have a quotation here from Adolf Hitler himself, clearly admitting, very clearly, <laughs> that his Nazi party, okay, was uh, modelled after the Jesuit hierarchical organisation of the Catholic Church. I mean, you know... Himmler himself being the equivalent of the Jesuit general over the SS. Yes, uh, as Catholics, honestly, this video is for you. I want you to be woken up here. I want you to wake up. Listen, it was Jesus Christ that died for your sins. He atoned for your sins. You don't need the Mass. If you need the Mass, and you know you need to partake of the literal presence and body of Christ in the Mass, then Christ died for nothing. You cannot add to the Word of God. Jesus paid for all of your sins, not just some of them. He is either your Saviour and Redeemer, or He is not. Okay? That's the truth. You know? God says in his word in Revelation 3.16 Because you were lukewarm and neither hot or cold I will spew you and spit you out of my mouth. Galatians 1 verse 6 I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. See the Vatican doesn't want you knowing the revelation of God's grace. It wants you caught up in that fear. That fear. You need the Eucharist. You know. You need the priests of Rome. You need the doctrine of transubstantiation. You need to be purged from purgatory. You need to pray over the rosary. You need these sacraments. And there's no church on this earth but the Church of Rome. Salvation is found in no other church. So you live your life in fear, your whole life in fear, you know. It's a system of fear and control. And the Jesuits of Rome, you know, behind the scenes, you know, they have no fear of God. They will put to death anyone, not for the Pope of Rome, but for the Black Pope. You to understand here, Catholics, what you're involved in. This universal Church of Rome. Catholics, you're on your way to the lake of fire. You are on your way to the lake of fire. You've been deceived by your popes, by your bishops, by your cardinals. You know? The Catholic Church is really the mother and son worship of Nimrod. All of these, you know, Catholic demonic apparitions of Mary to these children, all of these rituals in the Catholic Church, praying to dead people. Okay? The Pope of Rome is not the Vicar of Christ. He's the Vicar of Antichrist. Catholicism is the biggest lie and the biggest hoax played on the people of this world. According to the Vatican in June 2008, it's now okay to believe in aliens and evolution, you know. 
Also, you know, we saw Pope Benedict saying that Allah, you know, is the same God as Catholics. You know, we have a common faith through our father Abraham. That's absolute nonsense. You know, Allah is a moon idol. But in reality, they're all Babylonian brothers anyway. Okay, this is not sarcasm. This is the truth. I'm just bringing a piercing word here. Okay, really, to bring some reality, okay, to people. You have this deception of the Catholic Church and what it represents and what it is. Okay, when it's not founded upon the Word of God. It's not founded upon the King James Bible. Okay, you will never find one scripture in the whole of the Bible that says we are to pray the rosary. You know, you just won't see that one scripture because it's not there. You will not see one scripture in the whole New Testament about purgatory. Or where Jesus gave one apostle the authority to rule over the church. No, the Bible says he is Lord. He is the head of the church. You will never see one scripture that actually, you know, supports idol worship. Or the bound before graven images. Not one of these verses are in the Bible. Yet millions of Catholics live this way. Why? Because of the decrees of the Pope of Rome. Because he is God's representative. He is the vicar of Christ. When he sits in his chair, he speaks by inspiration of God. Rubbish. Rubbish. He's anti-Christ. He causes people to be involved in idolatry and the worship of graven images and praying to dead saints. You know, and worshiping relics and bones and skulls. It's demonic. It's wicked. You've got to come out of it for the sake of your own soul. You know, you don't pray to the blessed mother of God, Mary. You know, Mary's in heaven with the Lord. But it's Jesus Christ that lives and rules and reigns at his Father's right hand. You know, Catholics, wake up. Wake up. That's it. Stop worshipping Antichrist. Stop worshipping the beast. And come to Jesus Christ of Nazareth today. Come to the true Lord and true Saviour of your soul. You know? People need the gospel preached. I mean, I'll just say right now, I mean, there's times I've wanted to lay this down. I've thought, I've done enough. I'm, I'm laying it down. But the Lord won't allow me. He just won't allow me. This message is burning in my heart. And it really is. It's like fire. It's burning in me. The zeal of the Lord is consuming me for Catholics. You know? And also to expose the Jesuits of Rome. They put on a good front. You go on their websites and you see a lot of, you know, even the Jesuit Curia. You see a lot of good works and how, you know, how they're, the, the, you know, they're just walking in the love of Jesus. Let's all follow Jesus. Let's, let's love our fellow man. It's all deception. You go on all of these Jesuit websites, all you get. Yet they secretly, covertly control all the governments. They bring all of the wars in history. And they're still doing it today. You know, through the intelligence organisations. This is not a conspiracy theory. Okay, the Jesuits of Rome, as I've said, were expelled from 80 nations for a good reason. They assassinated Catholic monarchs. They would manipulate and control, okay, the kings and Catholic sovereigns of Europe to bring their wars and bring their crusades. And that's why eventually people had enough. And they just removed them from every country in Europe. And then they went to America and they assassinated Abraham Lincoln. And even bringing up to today, they assassinated John F. Kennedy. This is the truth. This is the truth about the Vatican. It is the most murderous, evil, wicked organisation ever in history. But the truth will prevail. Praise God, the truth will prevail against the society of Jesus. It will be overthrown. The word of God is very clear. That many antichrists have come. And even now there are many antichrists. Whereby we know it is the last time. You know? This new world order today that people talk about is nothing but the Jesuit order. The order of the society of Jesus to bring the whole world under the domination of the black pope and he is the pope of Rome today. Strong message but that's it. The truth must come out. You know, I'm not here to please people, I'm here to give people the truth and the truth will set you free. My name is Alan Lamont, thank you for listening and as always, all roads lead to Rome, the mother of all abominations.